Hello, oh boy, this is weird. Jeez, I leave for one week, I come back, and now I can see your face? Uh, that, yeah, this is weird. Welcome to Steepcast 30, we're trying something new. Steepcast reporting to you live from the top of Mount Blanc. Still miss me, making you miss me. Cause I'm hucking a dub 12, I'll throw it into a mist. Well, as you might have noticed, we're testing out a slightly different format for Steepcast in honor of the 30th episode. So let us know what you think of it down below. You can put it in the comments. I'll put up a poll at some point too in Discord just to see if you like this method, if you like the old method better, but we'll roll with it for now. Also, real Real snow submissions are due by this Sunday, August 2nd. You can submit those at nickandmitch.com slash real snow. We've already gotten about five or six entries and I know they'll pile in at the very end like they usually do. We also got a little update from Steep, thanks to Just Steep It for letting us know this, but they dropped a new Victory Yama set in the game and look at that. That is dirty. It is so nice it's beautiful that all black and white kit come on give me three i'm hoping i see one of those in the real snow because that is just darth vader on the snow yep instant first place in real snow just kidding <laughs> uh congrats to those check my steez 12 winners right now as we're recording we don't have the winners but they'll probably be on screen at the time of production uh, Check My Steez 13 next week is heading to Denali. The run will start next week at 4908 South, 3451 East, again in Alaska on Denali. It'll take you through a few rocky sections, past the radio tower, and finally it will spit you out through the gap in the trees, sitting around 7195 South, 3374 East. Now, if you're like me and you hate using the uh, latitude longitude locations in the game, you can just head over to Reddit and check out the sticky post from Check My Steez. You can also go down into our links below and get over onto the Check My Steez Discord, where you can watch all of the runs from Check My Steez 12 and all of the runs coming up for Check My Steez 13. Congratulations to the 12 winners and good luck to everyone who's submitting for 13. And the last bit of news for this week, not news, but the background footage that I'm playing right now is coming from Kerr, so thanks for letting us use that. If you want us to use your background footage, I can just pull it up on the YouTube page now. Just send me a message on Discord with the link and I will use it. And now, this is the first time they'll get to see you do this live, so you better not disappoint. Are you ready for this, Nick? Hold on. It's time for the Reddit Roundup! Well, now you guys get to see my physical pain when Nick yells that. I always forget to turn my headset down before it too, so... I'm gonna lose my hearing quickly, but... We're gonna start always off... Always sorry. <laughs> we're gonna start off the Reddit Roundup from Just Steep It and he recreated Billy Morgan's first triple rodeo, first quad cork, and some of the other trips in Steep. I love watching these style of clips because that's what we got started with on YouTube was recreating real life things in a video game. Oh, come on, you can't beat those After Effects. Tell me he added those After Effects. Here we go. Yes, yes he did! <laughs> oh, is that so smooth? I Just think, steep it, blowing us away again. I think I remember watching Billy Morgan's stuff with those little line edits and being blown away by that effect, so his recreation is pretty spot on with it. That's just such a cool look. I mean, I don't want to rewrite history in any way here, but those videos from Billy Morgan look a little old. Uh, was that like one of the first uses of After Effects in an edit video like that? I don't know, maybe with that glowing outline that you can see on his name too, that's pretty cool. But we'll move on for this one for you. This is from Shark Knight, so you get your first watch. It's actually a cross post, but here we go. A uh, super clean over some, oh, that's real. That's not in the game. <laughs> oh, geez, oh man. <laughs> I got you Could you imagine being one. at the dining room table and some dude's just shredding on your roof. <laughs> just, oh, hey, excuse me, ma'am. You know, enjoy your coffee. We'll be out of here in a second. Skrrr. I can't <laughs> remember. Roof. I can't remember if it's from 
a real video or if it's from that movie we talked about extreme ops but i do remember some scenes it's like in a bar and then the snowboard on the roof and land down it was either like a real life like real snow video or it was in a movie but it definitely has happened that that jump looks like it's enough to just you know you don't have to put too much effort to make it to the house I've always wanted to hit one like that where I get to skate on top of a house or across a, you know, a lodge porch or something like that. Maybe one day. Maybe. I think this one was a this was another cross post from 7 Days to Die. I haven't played this game. And I think from some of the comments, really? yeah, it's a mod. Have you played it? I've played it a little bit, but I've never seen a snow mod before. Is uh <laughs> does this look like the game? Other than the it snowboarding, it sure does. <laughs> Kinda. Someone went through the effort oh, of man, modding it, the game. Someone made a 3D line rider snow park in this game. It's so bumpy. <laughs> oh, I mean, props to him though. Oop, getting a little side action there. Oh, comes down a little, little sideways on that landing. <laughs> Needs that. He's uh, not having as much trouble on the rocks as we normally see in steep. I know, he needs that, like, G-Force meter going off and the high-pitched squeal, the black and white. Maybe I'll get that in the later update. Oh, <laughs> oh of course. <laughs> <laughs> way, to, well, way to go on this edit. That was a ton of fun to watch. I love seeing, like, the um, Red Dead Redemption one we saw a couple of weeks back in the bucket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they threw them in the bucket and kicked them down the hill. It was so much fun to see all of those cross posts from other games. I'm surprised they haven't added that to GTA either from the like in winter time when they do the snow, just throwing a couple snowboards on Mount Chiliad. It's got the perfect name. Yeah. Very true. And this one comes all from right, what do we got next? Uh subreddit username. So close call. Can I loop this? Oh we not loop that, but he does get very oh. close. Let's go again. A, nice, oh. a knuckle duster on the rock. Oh my god. That couldn't have been any more frame perfect than it was. That was unreal. Holy crap. And then finally, here's a picture for you. Let's open up the full thing. There you go. Come on. Now, how can anyone not say that Japan isn't their favorite mountain in the game? It's got That's the, gorgeous. got the best architecture for sure. It really does. Like, all of the traditional Japanese red, all of that bright red in contrast to the blues and the whites, all of the cool colors on the mountain, just things stand out so well. I mean, even the stop signs and, like, the road signs that are in bright red stand out. I know I have tons of screenshots of all of the stark red landscape in, uh, in the Japanese mountains. Unreal. Great. Who is this from? This is from put me on the spot we got to give credit yeet 69 420 mp <laughs> nice thanks yeet uh, really that was an incredible and is an incredible picture yeah another one for the wall you know someday when you and i have our own studio and we're like able to be together creating these at the same table we need to start actually making a wall of framed pictures from the reddit roundup there's what? too many already to cover one wall We'll run a side business photo printing so that we can have a photo printer and just crank them out nonstop. Hell yeah, I love it. But that's it for the Reddit Roundup. If you want to submit your stuff, you can go right here, reddit.com slash r slash steep. I sort by the top of the week and we'll maybe see you next time. All right, we need to address how weird this really is. Let's go over to the main topic and do it there. <laughs> So, as you may have noticed right now, besides the fact that Mitch and I are both matching, uh, you can see us, and see us for the entirety of the steep cast. Yeah, you caught us. We were trying to, we were trying to make the steep cast editing process a whole lot quicker because we've been doing this for 30 weeks now, and I think we've gotten into a pretty decent routine with it. 
but I know Mitch is busting his back over there trying to get these things out on time every Wednesday. So we're trying to find different things to pick and choose. We're trying to adapt Steepcast to our schedules so that we can still give you what you want, just a little bit easier on our end. Uh, you know, hence the fact that our faces are on the screen right now. Mitch is live controlling all of our screens from his computer. So in just a second, when we start talking about our main topic items, uh, he will be doing some live transitions instead of some post transitions. Very, very exciting things. This also goes to our shoutcast training, if you want to call it that. Um, we have gotten really used to clip clip by clip recording. So, you know, he would record his Reddit post, I would record my Reddit post, and we would go back and forth on our own DAWs recording our audio separately, uh, looking at each other through a private Discord on the side. This time now, uh, you can hear all of our ums, all of our likes, all of our, you know, misspellings and mistypos, all that kind of trash. Uh, Clearly, we need to get better at going back to back nonstop. We had it way back in 2017 when we were doing Road to the Olympics, but it seems we've lost the flame because we have forcibly detached ourselves from the flame. Yes, we are proud to announce the Tardiflet Games Send It competition. Now, Send it is going to be a little different than the other things that we have done in the past. We are not going to be giving you a very long window to ride these, edit them, and submit. It might be two days. It might be four days. It might be 24 hours. We're not sure. But this is a quick, easy way to keep content rolling on the channel and to keep your guys' skills sharpened. So just send it. No, no, not just send it. Tartiflet Games, send it. Well, it, it ends with it. I mean, come on. The Tartiflet Games, send it, will be announced in further detail following Real Snow. So be ready to submit for that one. We really think that this could be a crazy twist on all of the competitions we have done up to this point. Speaking of send it, did you happen to catch the Xbox game event the other day? Obviously. We'll switch over the camera and... Ooh, they, live transition! They gave us this teaser, which I watched a bit of it, but that's only 30 seconds, so... Yeah, it's super short. This game is called Shredders, and I don't want to ruin too much. Just take in the landscape right now and get ready for what you're about to see. If my computer didn't stutter now, I think I'm running too much stuff, but... <laughs> That's it. That was the teaser. I think 2021, yeah. and I think just on Xbox is what they said, but... There was some there was some cool stuff like yeah. this park looks pretty pretty the snow looks great that's my first kind of takeaway yeah and jumping back to you saying that it's Xbox exclusive the wording behind the announcement with Shredders and a couple of other indie games that they announced at this event were was a little bit weird and a little bit encouraging it, they said these games are going to drop first on Xbox. So Shredders might not be an Xbox exclusive upon release. You know, it, it might be on there for five or six months as an exclusive, but eventually we should start to see this rolling out to different platforms. This looks like a very well-polished snowboarding game. I'm happy to finally see another company coming in trying to corner the market on the snowboarding games. I will never say no to another mountain game. Yeah, and they have some other details in the description, too. I saw online that they were inspired by the Amped snowboarding games. It is just snowboarding, so they're focusing on only the snowboard, but it's going to have multiplayer as well. It says a vast mountain range. They didn't show off too much, so we'll see how much there is. It does say though that they're passionate snowboarders or skiers, so I don't know. Maybe that's 
kind of a future thing. It is an indie game, so it might not be the biggest. Yeah, and it'll be, it will be interesting to see what they define as big mountains, massive mountain ranges, mm -hmm. because I really think Steep has that on lock. I really don't see an indie studio coming out with a bigger game map than uh, Steep. Yeah, it he... really just seems unattainable for a smaller studio. Yeah. I could be wrong. I would love to be proved wrong, though. Yeah, we'll see. It looks like it could be uh, a lot of fun. Maybe some there'll be some nice edits coming out of the game, too, if they have a good director mode. So hoping to see something yeah. like that. And my last my last question or hypothetical, you know, just posing something to everyone is I wonder if this game, if they try to capitalize on just snowboards, if they make this very snowboard specific, no mentions of skis, is that going to pressure steep to kind of bump up the ski side of steep? You know, are they are we going to start to see that game being more of a ski specific versus snowboarding if there is a potentially better snowboarding game out there that everyone's already downloading? Because I see everybody in this community also downloading Shredders when it finally comes out. Yeah, the people that are still playing Steep at this point will be doing that for sure. So I don't know with, you know, Shredders coming out, Tony Hawk's a remaster, but Skate 4 being announced, Skater XL coming to all consoles. You know, it's showing that everyone's kind of moving back into those action sports games. There's one good, like, mountain bike Descenders, too, that I think I saw is coming to PlayStation. Ooh. It's already on Xbox, but, um, you know, action sports games are kind of coming back. So maybe that kind of encourages Ubisoft to take another crack at Steep or something else. Yeah, I'm super excited to see what the future holds for these. Uh, what did you call them? Extreme and... You, you said it's so much better than I do. <laughs> extreme sports games. What kind of sports are these? Extreme sports. Extreme sports games. You know, like adventure sports where, games, where they get the whole name from the X Games for the extreme games, and you call yourself okay. a fan. All right. Okay. All right. Well, we have something else in the world of extreme games <laughs> to bring up today. Uh, Mitch, you want to pull up that video of Skater XL? Yeah, it, people probably saw it because the tab was peeking over our videos, so they they read this. But Skater XL's been on PC for a while, but it is coming to consoles. Actually, came out. We'll say came out because it comes out the day before this episode drops on PS4, oh, geez, that's right. Xbox, and I believe Switch. But this map, really? Yeah, I think I'll double check that after. But this map looks really cool. Yeah, this is just a giant vert bowl, vert park in the middle of the desert in California. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to go and shred that all apart? Now, this raises another question. We've already seen some community members on Instagram, on YouTube, talking about Skater XL and how excited they are to have a game that's similar to Steep. I mean, it's it's an extreme sports shredder game on a board. It, it, it's pretty much the same thing. I am going to be interested to see if we can get enough of our community members on board with Skater XL to run some Tardiflet games in other games other than just Steep. Yeah, this was the map that caught it for sure in my eye. I mean, um, you've got so many different options and you could just do like the one big jump. Um, it's got a, some cool street maps too, and it has a really good replay editor from what I've seen because you can set keyframes and change the camera in the game and then play back the replay. Something that Steep desperately needs if they want to make the edits even better because a lot of people don't have the time to do all of that work after recording their gameplay and pulling it into a good video editor. So making it easy in the game is the way to go. Yeah, maybe this will finally be the push that Steep needed to take a revisit on their replay editor, on their camera work, on the back end. I mean, we all love it. We've all been able to make it work. You've seen TFG, you see what the community can do with it. But I mean, keyframes where, and if you don't know what keyframes are, you know, say you can set three or four cameras at different angles. And when your rider hits, say the lip of this jump right here, it will automatically move to your second camera angle. So you have more of a director role. You have more control in the game of your editing so you don't have to sit there and be thinking about the storyboard in your head to then put it together in editing afterwards 
Well said. But I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see if our community will latch onto these games like we think we, they will. I mean, I know we'll both have both of these games when they come to PS4. Um, you know, I, I'd love to do some other Tartiflet, Tartiflet event. Tartiflet. Jeez. <laughs> Mitch, cut this out. Nope. No, wait, we can't because we're on camera now. That one's staying. I would love, I would love to do some more Tartiflet Games events in other games. Mm -hmm. That's something we can test out. We'll probably test it in this one with either a small event and then maybe some bigger ones. Alternate between Steep and Skater XL. Maybe some other ones too. We just want to be the X Games work for the X Games, making their eSports content. So we got to do all the sports. Yeah, that's ultimately what we're going for here. We're just waiting for the X Games to call us and say, we love it. Come on board. Go tour around the country with the X Games. How cool would that be? There you go. But I think that's all we had to cover, right? It's a longer main topic too. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that's just about it. Um, the one last thing I would want to say before we head out is let's go Pens up in Toronto getting ready for the Stanley Cup playoffs, the truncated Stanley Cup playoffs in the bubbles of Toronto and Edmonton, Canada. Uh, we're both hardcore repping because the Pens are playing tomorrow the... Flyers, I believe. 28th. Right? They're playing the Flyers on the 28th, yeah, as their preseason warm-up game. And so, good luck. And yes, Skater XL is coming to Switch. I just looked it up. So I was right. Nice. But we'll see you over in the All main right. topic. Mitch was right. Or the weekly no, challenge. No, we'll see you in the weekly challenge. <laughs> well, this week's weekly challenge was brought to us by the man who's come up with quite a few of them, Kerr. And he had the idea for Where's Waldo Steep Edition. So we'll start off with some of his. He has his character hidden in these photos and we'll see if Nick can see them. Oh God. <laughs> um, hold on. I, I have to adjust this so you can watch me like- You don't have get, the good vision either. Get into here. No, I have awful vision. Okay. Um, well, it doesn't help that my ring light is right in my <laughs> eyes and this is a very dark picture. Um. <laughs> No, for some no, I can't find him in here. Okay, he's in the top center, I believe. Is is he that little blue speck? Yeah, I don't think you can see my mouse, but the the people watching can. Yeah, there's like a little blue speck on the rock. That's his glove, I believe. Okay, but we got this one. Right, good good job, Kerr. You stumped us this time. In the that's O for one. How about the second one? Uh, I see the hot air balloon, but that's not where he's not the hot air balloon. Nope. Okay. He's bigger than that. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying to do quick, like quick scans because it's really not going to be entertaining to listen to me go uh, for five minutes. Uh, no, I can't find him in this one either. Over in the right in the trees. He's got his red wing where? suit. His red wing suits draped out the Dracula one. Oh, that's be is the tree that big or is that just like perspective? Perspective. Just messing with perspective. He's flying through. And then, <sighs> all right, Kerr. this one. This one's pretty easy. I think even you're okay. I see him up in the antennas, top left. Okay, yeah. There you go. I didn't give anyone a chance for that one. I got it. <laughs> you're one for three. Let's see what other <laughs> ones we got. That's secret spot. So I think we <laughs> missed that. There's more. There's Lucas's secret spot. I think I do know where that Cozy is. Cozy in between the big rocks? That's That looks like one of the old TFG spots because there was like rocks you could jump down from. Um, these are the real yeah. snow teasers that we did last week. Got some heat wave submissions. We'll get there later. Here's Ev's Where's Waldo. I haven't seen this one either, so we'll see who gets it. Um. Okay, yeah, start got a it. timer. Put a timer I, on the I got it already. Oh. <laughs> Help, Mitch already caught it. Okay. <laughs> nope. He's a little I got all white outfit with a, like a dark helmet below. Of course he is. Below the trees in the center. <laughs> oh, I see him right, yep. right next to the shadow, but just in the sun. Yep. Yeah. Tricky. This tricky, one. tricky, Ev. 
This one seems like it's harder. Est wild. You know, where's Waldo never used camouflage? He just always wore what I got this one too. More, which I guess would be camouflage. I found you have this. that nice 4K monitor over there. I'm on a laptop from 2015. And streaming my screen over to it, so I'll give you that. Yeah, and streaming your screen. I, I am not at full res here, sir. No, no again. He's in the rocks on the right. If you go from the snow to the bluish rock to the gray rock, he's on one of the little outcroppings. He's got tiny red boots on. Uh, I don't know what picture you're looking at, but it has to be. I don't see tiny little red boots anywhere. All right, here's a, f a few more, though. Estwild posted a bunch, so I'll try and speed through them real quick. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to say that's him over here on the left in the trees. Sure. And, oh. Okay. I, I hate these pulled out pictures. Their character's so small in here. This is not suitable for a live search. I don't know. I think there's a tiny guy down here that could be a stop sign too. It's so far in the distance. I don't enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I just... Oh, this one's a little closer. It's a little nicer. I still can't see anything in there. He's up here against of the sh against the shed above the yellow and black oil barrels. He's up on that shed. Uh, okay, I'll take your word for it. And we got one more. This is the last one. Oh, yeah, he's right here by the cabin. I mean, it's a beautiful picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one was... Now that's too easy. Oh, Just okay. kidding. I was miserable. I think I organically found one of those. So you saw it in real time. We didn't get to mess around with it any more than reality. So there you go. You guys clearly stumped us on Where's Waldo. Thank you again to Kerr for that submission. Mitch, what's up for next week? We got heat wave up next week. So I think we said anything with the heat, the sun, or if you want like the 80s heat wave vibe. And then the following week, another suggestion by Kerr right here, collage edition. So you can create a nice collage. He has some sick ones. This is the one that inspired it also. Oh. Yeah, okay. incredible. We saw that. Um, we saw it as he was working on it the other day in the Discord. If you're not a part of the Discord, get on over there. These guys are putting incredible pictures like this up there just saying, you know, hey, is this anything? Can we do anything with this? And... Here it is. Absolutely, yes. Next uh, two weeks from now will be the collage edition. Jump into Photoshop, jump into Microsoft Paint, and give us your best collage of you or your friends up on the mountain. All right, time for our Q&A live edition. So we're going to have some fun. These ones were from a couple weeks ago, but they asked, do we need more backpacks in the game? Um, uh, no, I've never, I've never really felt super attached to the backpacks. I always kind of wished that I could go on the mountain without a backpack. Mm -hmm. Just, I feel like you lose a lot of the design, like you're wearing a hoodie or something and it's just covered by the backpack. I, yeah. I wish you could toggle them off because I would not use backpacks. Yeah. I have some that like match certain outfits, but other than that, not too much of a fan, but we also got to well, ask. And that's, yeah, that's. That's my number one gripe with the backpacks is you have to find one that matches the outfit that you're trying to go with. You can buy a top and bottom, but then you have to find a ba if you don't buy the backpack from the from the same kit with the same fabrics, which I don't like using the full outfits. Uh, you're kind of SOL when you're looking for one. I mean, luckily I found one that I kind of like right now, but it's just not it doesn't fit. I, I want to take it off. I'm sorry. Go ahead with the rest of the question. The next part of the question, that one was from Flair, by the way, from Lucas with a UNC, is what is your favorite backpack? I can show you. My favorite backpack is right here. It's my backpack. It's an Oakley it's a nice, backpack. You know, Oakley. It's an Oakley um, 
hold your stuff. That's the uh, actual name. It's it's not. I have no idea what the <laughs> product name of this is, but it's really nice. It holds my stuff. It has a little sunglasses pouch in there, and uh, it got me through four years of college and now work. There you go. My favorite sits next to my desk because it's the one I use for work all the time. <laughs> you got one too. Yep. I got to move the strap, but it's the Team Canada Olympic backpack from Hudson Bay Company. That's so nice. I, every time I travel, I use this backpack, which has the Olympic Canada logo on it. And I have a duffel bag that has the same Olympic Canada logo on it because I always buy stuff in uh, like the team stuff with Team Canada. So anytime I'm in an airport or on a bus, I've got like these three duffel bags in a backpack that have the Team Canada logo. And everyone probably thinks I'm an athlete. I've been asked by security. They're like, are you on like Team Canada? I'm like, nope. Just really love them. <laughs> no, you need you can't buy match luggage for Team Canada and then not try to push a narrative that you are an athlete. You have to be like, oh yeah, I'm a fencer. What's your name? I don't need to tell you because you're never going to remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the most obscure. Well, I mean, hey, you could say that you're Team Canada for esports shoutcasting. Because, mm -hmm. well, no, I guess we would be Team France for that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> One of those, but we were working on some Splitting Olympic hairs. stuff. And then we got one top five music artists from Steepest Legend. I hate these music questions. I don't have like a tier list. You make fun of me for it all the time, but I don't like rank my artists. I just listen to shit. Do you have a top five list? I do. I always have a list. It changes sometimes, but... Daft Punk's been number one since like 2013. Rush is now number two. They were a little bit lower before, but now Rush is two, three. I don't know. I might have to go with The Weeknd. I listened to a lot of his stuff, but not so much recently. But, but Mitch, it's Wednesday. I Sorry, think, it was a letter Kenny joke that just didn't stick. Yeah, no, I, it went way over my head for some reason. And then <laughs> the rest of them rotate, but I like Maynard Ferguson, Michael Buble for some jazz tunes. Uh, Logic just released a new album, which is really good, and I didn't listen to a lot of his stuff before, so he might move up there as well. Nice. And okay, the, I scribbled down a list, oh. I guess. <laughs> Did you have wait, did you have any more? No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Were you gonna say something? I wasn't. Okay. You sure? I'm just kidding. Here's my list. Uh top of the pack is Wolfpack because I love jazz. I love kind of poppy. I tried to put both hands up and I punched the mic. Uh, I love jazz and I love like modern funk and pop stuff. And it's the per perfect combination of the two. Uh, following them is Green Day. I have a Green Day tattoo. Uh, I grew up with Green Day. They taught me how to drum. They taught me how to sing. They taught me how to make tons of money just using four chords. Um, after that is The Ghost Inside, a metal band, because their lyrics are just incredible. They are one of the more melodic metal bands out there, and their story is just heart-wrenching. You, you can't not be a fan of them after hearing what they've been through. Uh, following that is Elton John, because he is the king, bow down to him. And finally, in fifth place, is a huge jazz cut. It's Charles Mingus. Love me some good mm. Mingus. Better get in your soul. Come on, I listen to that almost every single morning before going to work in the shower. Is is he the one that does moaning, or is that someone else? I'm pretty sure that's him. I think so, but that just heavy bass, or berry sax in the beginning... We played that in jazz band yep. and it was not yep. fun as a trumpet because you don't play but now tons of wildness uh for the sax section for the woodwinds in jazz for mingus mm -hmm. he has a ton of like bird calls uh it's just a song where he it's written in the music like sound like birds yeah and now it has ended up being transcribed as the original solos and what they did but at the recording they kind of just he was just like do it <laughs> Thelonious Monk would also be a close second to uh, Mingus, but again, we're splitting hairs here. We can talk jazz all day. All day. I actually got the Maynard Ferguson best of on vinyl right there in the corner. Yeah. So 
the trumpet player. And we got one more from Lucas with you in a C too. I'm gonna pull up this picture. Do you are have stupid? After this episode, yes, <laughs> yes, we are. You have. St <laughs> I can't. It's like that. Have you ever seen the meme, the James Bond having a stroke? Yeah. John, James James Bond call the call the bondulence. Yeah. Bond strong having having James strong. Yep. Ugh. Yeah. Thanks, Lucas. <laughs> That's a good summary of this week's episode. It was. Yeah. That's. It was a learning curve, so let us know what you think about it too. If you like the style, we might try it some more. See if we can improve on it. Or we can go back to the old one, too. I don't think we have a favorite right now. We might try something completely different. I know Nick has several large ideas that will make the editing even worse than it is right now. So maybe we'll try that sometime. I love you. We really need to look into buying a studio somewhere. Some common ground between our two cities. We need just a bunker in the woods where we can go and make one video a week, edit for 18 hours on a Saturday, and boom, there's all of our content and we go back to our cities. There you go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But thank you guys again for watching uh, and sticking with us through this test of a new format. We never want to get into a place where we are just being consistent with everything because I think uh, you know, for you guys, as well as us, it gets kind of monotonous and kind of boring. Uh, we got into a place with the original format of Steepcast where we weren't even thinking about it anymore. And I think the conversations took a bit of a dip because of that. Um, but we're trying to breathe some new life into uh, Steepcast. So yeah, like Mitch said, let us know what you think about this. If you really hate it, please let us know in the comments. If you really like it, please let us know in the comments. Whether, regardless if you like it or not, have all of your friends subscribe to our channel so they can follow this mess of a journey to the X Games, the first ever esports shoutcasters on the X Games payroll. You're looking at them right here. We're speaking it into existence right now during episode 30 of the Steepcast. If you guys want to follow us anywhere else, you can go down and click the link to join our Discord page. We are often there talking about anything and everything with everyone in the community. You can follow the Check My Steez page and you can follow us on Nick or Mitch over on Twitter. I think that just about covers everything, right? Yeah, you got all of that. I think we mentioned it before, we're giving away a Tardif Like Games t-shirt too once we hit 500 oh, subscribers, yeah. so we'll have something for that. Uh, this week too, we are giving away a copy of Fall Guys on PC, so there's a YouTube video on our channel that's titled Fall Guys Giveaway, so you can check that out. It's going to be free on PlayStation Plus, so if you have a PlayStation, you're just going to get it. But that's it. Yeah, super excited, super excited. We are also going to start making a little more content over in Fall Guys. We're starting to expand the channel just a wee bit more to give you guys some more face time with us because I know how much you all love looking at these two ugly mugs. I know my mom's so going to love this leave, episode. <laughs> <laughs> so I will leave you with this before we do our sign off. One more time, let's go Pens. Bring home another cup amidst the coronavirus. It cannot stop the city of Pittsburgh. We are going to bring that cup back and maybe we don't have a parade. That's totally fine. I'll stand across the street and wave at Sidney Crosby and give him a good thumbs up as they, I'm drinking an icy light. They can do the boat parade like we did on the 4th of July. So everyone gets on Dude. their boat. Trust me, I know it's been mentioned. So I think that could happen if they win, but we'll see. Oh, that would be incredible. Oh, that would be so nice. Can they, can they come down the Ohio River? and stop in Baltimore on their way out to sea. They'd have to go Pittsburgh, I, I Ohio River, the big river, the Mississippi, out Louisiana, around yep. Florida, up the coast to Baltimore. So it would take, it's like a four week trip. Long yeah. parade. Well, hopefully they will. Hopefully they'll see this video and make it, make the trip just for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you on the slopes.